All right, today we're heading to Yellowstone. We're very excited. It's one of the items on our bucket list. We have an early start, so come along with us. So we think someone has something to say. She wants to add something to the conversation. Today we're gonna check off one of the big things on our bucket list. We're gonna drive up to Yellowstone and spend the day. Come on along. Okay, so we thought we got an early start out. It's 6 a.m. Beautiful sunrise on the mountains. And we were just passed by three cars. Did not expect early morning fog. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are in Yellowstone. Seven o'clock in the morning. So keep that in mind if you're coming to Yellowstone. At seven o'clock in the morning, there was already a line to enter the south gate of the park. But we're excited. Here we go. Here we go. Our first waterfall in Yellowstone. You are able to see Lewis Falls right from the road, but it's really nice that they also have really good parking. So we are here at the Old Faithful Lodge and Visitor Center, and we're just walking in from the parking lot, which is huge, and um, we're going to see if we can figure this out. So we got to Old Faithful early. There were plenty of bleacher seating available. I went up and got coffee, and then we just sat and waited for the show. Old Faithful usually erupts about every hour and a half, so we did have an estimated time about when it was gonna happen next. I was amazed at all the other geysers that were so near to Old Faithful. I also was surprised at how many false starts Old Faithful appeared to have. All right, we still have eight minutes from their best prediction for the next real eruption. Oh, it's boiling. Hey, babe. Hmm? We're going to see it? Yeah, we're going to see it. It's going to happen. <laughs> well, that was worth the trip. Oh, yeah. All by itself. And it's still doing it. All right. So we're here. We got to watch it erupt. This is going to be hot, hot water right here. Oh, on oh wow. This little bridge. It's just, Old Faithful is not the only thing here. No. There's just tons of stuff here. Tons of geysers. Yeah. That is really cool. Very cool. So cool. Actually, it's hot. But <laughs> Wow, this walk was worth it. The 
Fireplace guards in place. It's a four sided fireplace. Oh, cool. So, we were told that one of the things that we should not miss was to go into the Old Faithful Lodge and have a meal. So, breakfast was very reasonable. We took the breakfast buffet, which was only $15 a plate. And the food was amazing. It was very delicious. It was really neat to find out that the visitor center measures every eruption. The one we saw today was 150 feet high. Average is only 130, so we saw a good one. They said that the maximum recorded was 200 feet, but sometimes if it's really windy, it only gets to 100 feet. The museum in the visitor center explains how the geysers work and the geothermal activity in the entire geyser basin of Yellowstone. After we left Old Faithful, we continued north. The first place we went to was the Black Sand Basin. Following that, we went to the Midway Geyser Basin, which included the Grand Prismatic Spring. Routed in steam. Yeah, but you did the whole loop. I did the whole loop. Yeah. Well, it's much easier going down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were able to find parking and did the half mile walking tour around the fountain paint pots. The first area was beautiful blue. It was called the Silex Spring. You can hear them. Yeah. You can hear them bubbling. You can hear them. You got soup going on over there, right? Yeah. Bubble, bubble. Oh, look. The ground is smoking. It was a really nice walking tour. Along with the spring in the mud pots was also a geyser area. We really enjoyed seeing the geyser, the Clepsydra geyser. It is nearly constant performer. It splashes from several vents and the steam can be seen throughout the lower geyser basin. There are actually at least six named geysers here. Now this is what I'm talking about for Yellowstone. Even on a summer day, we found a quiet place. <laughs> so we're at Gibbon Falls. Yes, we are. So excited. <laughs> we're halfway through the lower loop, and it is taking much longer than we thought. But that's yes. okay. Yep. I think it's taken so long because um, we've stopped more places. And a couple of the places we've stopped have had a lot of traffic, but not every place we've stopped has had parking issues. And we stayed a long time at Old Faithful. We really did. We stayed over, over I'd an say, hour and a half. oh two yeah, hours. I'd say at least every bit of two hours. There's a picnic area south of it, and then there's a parking area north of it. And if you do the parking lot north, there's a whole walkway that you can just view after view of the falls. You can't go wrong with it. All right, so we came to the canyon. 
and we decided that we were going to do it tomorrow, especially when we got to the upper rim, the north rim. It was just a zoo. There was just no way to get to that parking lot. And then when we came down to the south rim or the lower rim, I don't know, the other one, there was like no cars waiting. It was perfect. And the view we have here is so spectacular. I'm loving this. This, this is like the best part of the day. We were very impressed with the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River. There were two viewpoints of the Upper Falls from the South Rim. The first viewpoint is immediately adjacent to the parking lot and then there's a nice easy path that takes you to the second viewpoint which is a lot closer to the falls. Canyon Falls. Yeah. yeah. Canyon of Yellowstone Falls. And we're on the path. And there's very few people. Middle of the summer, Wednesday. The major attractions are crazy packed. And then yet sometimes you find something that's just a jewel. Not a lot of people and you really get to enjoy it for yourself. So it's worth it. It definitely is. After we saw the Upper Falls, we explored and actually found the South Rim Trail, which walks you down and you get a view of the Lower Falls. The Upper and Lower Falls of the Yellowstone River just add to the grandeur of the place. The Upper Falls, which were very impressive, is a 109-foot drop, while the Lower Falls are actually 308 feet. Okay guys, as you're starting to figure out, Yellowstone is huge. On this day, we completed the lower loop of Yellowstone. Stand by for the upper loop of Yellowstone coming in the next video.